What is up guys? My name is Andrew and welcome back to Space Engineers episode number 22. Look at the ship. Look at what it looks like from here. I don't think I've actually gotten this view of the ship yet. It looks really cool. But there are a lot of things to weld and that's one of the things I want to focus on today. But another thing that I want to focus on today since we can't always worry about only the ship. The ship's almost done so hopefully it should be done within the next couple of episodes. But another thing I want to worry about today is uh, doing something else with this. And the main thing I want to do is I've realized that there's no way I'm going to go through and weld all this. It's a lot. The only hope that I have for actually welding a lot of this is just to build small little areas and then weld what's needed for that. And then if I build enough small little areas along the sides, then eventually I will have a fully welded base. But it will take some time. And so same same within there. I'm not going to go like it takes a long time to kind of like mine all that. So I think what I'm just going to do is I'm going to wait until I need to actually mine out a specific area. Then I'll mine out that little area and then I'll come back and uh, and mine out the rest later. So I think that's probably the better way of doing it rather than spending like five hours <laughs> doing all that. Because that's a lot of stuff and it's going to need a lot of trips of iron. Speaking of iron, well, speaking of mining in general, um, we had a bit of an accident again. I really shouldn't fly ships off camera. Uh, we're missing a ship. Luckily, we still have this ship right here. The, the, um, the miner that Lucifer FP provided with us. Uh, the, the better miner, if you will. This is the better edition. It gets us a lot of good stuff. But the other one, the one that we used to have here, uh, unfortunately, I had a bit of a mishap with gravity, and I met the wrong side of an island, or of a, of a mountain, rather, and it combusted. Luckily, I was able to take the ship out there, grab up most of its parts, so if we really want to make it again, which I'm not quite sure we do, because we don't really need it, but if we really do, what we can do is we can do uh, control, what, control of 10, right? Yeah, control of 10, and we've got mining ship right here so we can just throw that like somewhere but we're not going to do that right now because there's no need to do that uh we have this ship over here which is better anyways but it does remind me are you broken do you have a stubbed toe i think our ship stubbed its toe let's get some construction components and i don't know what else it needs there maybe motors and stuff to to fix that uh large steel tubes and steel plates gotcha large steel tubes and steel plates Let's go large. We'll grab, uh, I think it only needs one of those, right? And then we'll grab some steel plates as well. And we're going to grab a bunch of these because we're going to be using them in a second. So that's what I was about to say. With this small little area, I've kind of decided what I want this to be already. So off camera, I just made this little frame right here. Um, just kind of in preparation. But uh, it occurs to me that we're running out of power. And the reason we're running out of power is because uh, we, well, we're running out of uranium mainly. So we could always go and grab more uranium. But what we really need to do... You're working, right? What we really need to do is we need to supplement our uranium usage with more solar power. And if we look at our solar panels, we only have three of them because one got struck by a meteor. So I kind of want to... Well, first off, I want to add that solar panel back. It is still needed. And second off, I want to add a bigger solar panel area over here. And perhaps even a charging station as well, kind of like what we have right here. So it'd be like a third charging station that's closer to the hangars and also closer to our ship. So, uh, so we wouldn't have to always go back to the main base for all the for, for all of our charging needs. So, I think that's going to be a good idea, and that's also going to give us time to do this because what we've been doing is we've been assembling quite a quite a few things here. You see, uh, if we look in our production queue, I pretty much said make a bunch of everything, and so I'm kind of just hoping we have enough materials. Although I don't know if we will. Iron is probably my biggest concern. We just went to go get cobalt. That's how we ended up crashing our ship here. Uh, make that stuff before you do the cobalt. Uh, I don't know what else we might run out of. Silicon, cobalt, iron, and nickel are three ma our four main uh, problems there. So hopefully we have enough. We'll see. Oh, we still have this miner as well. The uh, the big miner. The clearer. The destructor. <laughs> this one was mainly used to, to wipe out all the stuff over there. So let's get to work on this over here. And then maybe towards the end of the episode, once we have a bunch of those materials kind of made up there, we'll hop into our welding ship and we will run around trying to weld a bunch of the stuff on the, uh, the big ship. So first let's do the frame. I think the frame is easy. And we have a, a welder. Our welder is so good that we can pretty much sprint along this and weld everything that we need. Unfortunately it doesn't weld it all the way so you do have to give it another sprint and it'll, it'll complete the welding on everything. But it pretty much gets everything on the first go. So there we go. Now we have our frame here. Oh wait, we, we kind of missed that. But we are running out of um, steel plates already. Which is why I told that thing to make like a bunch. Uh, steel plates. There's 300. I'll take those and we'll search in here as well. Oops, okay, it's not searching. Steel. Uh, you're not available to grab. Are we Are we going to run out again? Hang on, let me... Yeah, it doesn't look like we have very much, do we? 
let's hop back into the production. And you know what? After you make this stuff, go ahead and make me like just 10,000 of this, I think. Uh, I think that'll be good. 10,000. Uh, you might have some. Did I stick steel plates in you? I think you have a couple. You don't have that many. We don't need them right now. Those would be the steel plates from the, the, the miner that we destroyed. If we ever go back to that location, which is over there, by the way, we'll make a little memorial for it. I don't know. We might. If we're in the area, we'll make a little memorial. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, so how do I want to do this? How do how, how do you how do you, how do you guys think it's going to work well? I think if we do... Because it takes up three. Does it take up three or four? I think it takes up three, so like that. But maybe it takes four. I think it, maybe it takes four. Let's say that's going to be one, two. Every two is another one. Three. And then four. We're just seeing how many we have. Five, six, seven with change. So eight. We can fit eight things on here. So I think that's probably a pretty good number. Eight on one side. And then that's the space that's going to take. And then we can do eight on the other side with the exact same thing. So uh, we'll do one, two, three, and then just keep kind of uh, bringing that over. This is going to take a while to weld, isn't it? <laughs> and we might not have the steel plates to weld it all quite yet, but at least we can we can get some of it. Weld. Oh, my God. The creative tools are so much easier. Oh, shoot. I was just trying to right click to, to uh, undo that. No, with the creative tools, you can do control and drag or shift and drag or something. And you can just basically drag out long pieces. So that's that's that right there. We have our side solar panels. I don't know what we're gonna do in the middle. What do we how many how much space do we have here? We have one, two, three, four. So that's one solar panel. Uh one, two, three, four. That's another, okay, and then we have a space to walk in the middle. Okay, I love it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one line of solar panels all the way down right here, uh, and then one line closer to the middle. Another line far out, another line closer to the middle, and then, and then in the middle we could have a couple of uh, charging stations that we could stick ships. And by a couple, I mean we could have. Um, let me let me give you an example. So let's uh, put this all the way, just so I can kind of show you what I mean here. So this would be right here. This would be the walkway, and then we could, and it wouldn't really be a walkway; it would just be like kind of a path. And then we'd have something like this. Actually, you know what? Here's a question. Is that a good idea? Here's why I ask. Because if we're going to have solar panels right here, is it a good idea to then stick something tall above the solar panels where they can't charge? Or would it be a better idea to maybe stick them underneath so that, like, for instance, like this or something? So it would come down right here, maybe. And then, boom, that'd be the connector. So you, your, your ship would kind of, like, back up right onto that. Would that be a better idea? I think that might be a better idea, and that might be what we do instead. Then we can run, like, uh, co conveyors along the bottom as well so that we can uh, bring things between the ships. And we could have, like, one right there, one right here, and maybe a third one right here so we could have three ships uh, simultaneously docked. And then, of course, we'd want to have, like, a little um, a little platform or something down here as well, which this this will be, like, the little template for. We'll eventually fill that out as well because if we want the ship – if the ships are going to fall, uh, we want them to fall onto a nice platform – where they don't have to like roll <laughs> everywhere. Uh, otherwise they're gonna fall into this mountain and they're just gonna roll down the mountain. And that is not a good thing. You do not want your ships rolling down mountains. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, and the reason I say what I'm going to do now instead of actually doing it is because I think it's gonna take a while. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go and grab a bunch of steel plates. And I'm gonna try and weld this stuff because I don't think we have enough steel plates quite yet, but, uh, but I'll be right back once I check on that. Okay, it looks like we have enough steel to do a little bit of this, but we are going to have to go on a mining expedition. Not steel, uh, steel plates, rather. Uh, we're going to have to go on a mining expedition eventually to get more iron, I think. Um, and it's unfortunate, but it has to happen every once in a while. The new miner is good, but it's not that good. <laughs> like, it can't bring back infinite iron, but it can bring back iron to supply us for quite a bit. We have an unknown signal. That's actually really far away. Wait, no, that's actually... Is that far? No, it's not that far. Let's, let's fly over there and see what's... Uh, see what it wants. See if we can grab something from it. It's just sitting there. Um, unknown signal! There's a little teaser to something I was planning back in one of the episodes with an unknown signal. I don't, no one actually commented on it, but... Um, hey! A cow rifle! Cool. <laughs> no one actually commented on it, but it was I was proud of that. A little teaser. I still have plans for that one thing that I was planning at that at that time. Very very secretive, aren't I? Right now, <laughs> that one thing that I was planning, I still plan to do with if if I can get my plans together and then plan some more, and be secretive and stuff. Okay, ow, <laughs> but my head. Okay, uh, we need to go. 
you know what we need to do is we need to make more assemblers for gosh sakes because uh, look all this stuff you know what here okay we don't need this stuff we will need this stuff we don't need it now so make that first because I think that's that's our primary need is more steel plates because we're gonna run out so let's go back over there and, uh, and and do more stuff and you know at the very least we should be able to get down a couple of solar panels oh my god you know what else we need <laughs> solar panel components how did I not think of this earlier that is the question so let's go over here and uh, production and solar panel components, whatever they're called. Solar panel, solar cells. We're going to need nickel and silicon. I think we're a little bit low on nickel, but uh, it'll be fine. So let's make... How many are gonna we, we going to need? 8 times 4 is going to be 32. Each requires almost... Each requires 64, if I'm correct. Uh, so 32 times 64 is a lot. <laughs> okay, uh, so maybe... 3,000 is going to be roughly uh, enough. Right? I, th I think. Because if it were, if, it, if they each required 100, then 3,200 3, would be the number. But they only require 64. So roughly 3,000 would be maybe a little bit less than that, but it's nice to have a couple of them on the back burner just in case. So we're going to make those. Oh, those take a while to make. Oh, no. Okay. Well, at least we'll have some by the time we need some, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's take the steel plates. Well, I'm glad I decided to do this right now instead of, like, in a couple minutes. So they can be doing while, while we're doing that. And you know what we might do? We might go on that mining expedition, uh, and that'll give those things time to make as well, so. Okay, welding in the dark, welding in the dark. I watched footage of this game from a long time ago. Not a long time ago, but like a year ago. And it actually looks completely different nowadays. Like, all these sparks, these particle effects, didn't used to be as realistic looking. So I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool how much this game has come along. But that doesn't change the fact that it is three years old and, and it just got out of beta, I think. Or wait, no, did it just get out of alpha? No, we're in beta right now. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're out of steel plates. Okay, so let's go on a mining expedition and by the time we get back we should have steel plates. Let me make sure, actually. Steel plate. Yeah, we're pretty much out. We only have that many. Okay, mining expedition time. Ah, uh, look at the beautiful sky. That does look beautiful. There's Mars up there with... Is that like Mars's moon? Does Mars have a moon? In real life, does Mars have a moon? I actually don't know. Or does it have two? I thought I, I, thought I read somewhere that it has two moons. Wow, I'm very... <laughs> I'm very unaware of Mars's um, celestial... Uh, siblings I guess you could say <laughs> I don't know <laughs> trying to form scientific sounding sentences welcome aboard the uh, the Lucifer FP miner the, the mining expedition for today will consist of some iron and hopefully we'll be able to get some nickel on the way back because it does seem that we'd need some nickel back at the base uh, I hope you enjoy your ride be careful it might be a little bit bumpy as this is a mining ship please keep your seat belts fastened we are now entering the tunnel of the mine if you have any need to put your hands outside the vehicle, do not do that. You might hit a wall. We do not want that to happen. Also, the engines are everywhere, so they might cut off your hand. So don't do that. Don't keep. Please keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. <laughs> There's no passenger on this one, but once I was playing multiplayer in this game, and one of my friends needed to ride back, so I actually stuck a seat on top of a of a, of a ship like this. You can do that. It's fun. But um, this place should be full of iron still. We've been. This is ha has actually been our iron. Uh, mine for a very long time now, and I'm impressed that it's still uh, functioning as an iron mine. Okay, we gotta be very careful. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna, well, let's right click this. I don't like that little bit right there. I feel like it's gonna chop our ship in half. Okay, so we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn around and grab some iron from this wall right here. And we can hear our ejectors spin to life. They need to start ejecting stone as soon as possible because we do not want any of that, none of that stone on board. At this point, we are nice and full of iron. How much do we have? Let's see. Click this little button that I don't like. <laughs> I should always show us our connected inventories. We've got uh, a nice 91k times 2 plus 31k plus all this stuff. So roughly 391ks. That's a lot of iron. That is three inventory fulls of iron, which uh, hopefully we'll all make it back to the base. Now, we're, we're in pretty good hands here, it looks like. Uh, the only problem is that we have to go down pretty far, and going down in ships is not fun. It's not fun at all. Well, it's fun on the way down. It's just not fun when you when you hit the ground. <laughs> but um, we have 19 minutes of fuel left. I actually didn't check that before we took off. That would have been bad. Could you imagine me flying this high and then suddenly... 
fall down like a rock. <laughs> I could totally see myself doing that. In fact, I'm probably gonna end up doing that with the big ship. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna like be on the moon and I'll, I'll forget that I'm out of fuel or something, so I'll take it up real high and then suddenly I'll be like, all right, we're re-entering Earth's atmosphere. Start pressing the brakes. Why aren't the brakes working? Why do we not have power? That, that's that's totally gonna happen. It's gonna happen, you'll, you, you'll see. But um, we're almost there. We're just about right above the base, which is another dangerous thing. Because if uh, if we mess up here, we're gonna be landing on the base. So not only will we, will we will we be breaking our beautiful ship, we'll also be breaking our beautiful base. So I'm gonna keep an eye on the speed here because it's something I usually don't do when I'm going down. So let's try tapping it for a few, tapping C for a few seconds. One, two. Okay, okay. Oh, see see how slow that goes down. See how slow that that speed goes down right there. That right, that's how you could very easily accidentally crash into the ground. Uh, going at a speed of, I'd say, over 10 meters per second is going to cause you to seriously damage stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to get right above it and we're going to start tapping a little bit. We want to be very, very careful. Um, and if you're new to Space Engineers, I've told you this. I've, I've said this many times in the episode that it's very difficult to go down in ships. But you're probably still going to make mistakes like I do and, uh, and end up crashing ship. In fact, I was playing with one of my friends one time and he had crashed my ship. So I brought out another ship to go and to go and see about that. So he had crashed it by going down too far. And I was like, how could you have done that? That's such a stupid thing to do. You got to be careful about going down. And as I was saying that, I was going down and I, I hit the ground. It's It was so, oh God, oh God, I hit it a little too far. Oh no. Okay. I think we're still good. I think we're still good. Yep. You just got to keep an eye on that speed. Make sure you don't go too fast. Okay. And I'm only tapping it at this point, by the way. By the way, every time you see one of those unknown signals off in the distance just disappear, that's because of the unlimited speed mod. It, it, the, uh, the signals aren't really supposed to go that fast. And when they, when they go too fast when they're falling, they, uh, they, they, they spontaneously combust when they hit the ground. So <laughs> you got to be careful. All right, back it up very carefully. If I press Control 2, uh, we should have this nice little camera, which we shall use. Exit cameras. Back, why did I say exit cameras? Backup cameras. Okay, line it up and back it up. Maybe a little bit down. How far are we? I'm, I'm, okay, there we go. Press P to lock. And finally, are we locked? There's still this glitch, by the way, where it zooms me super far out when I'm connected to the base. I do not know why that happens. And it shouldn't happen, but whatever. Uh, let's turn on, well, no, we'll, we'll keep the batteries on. Okay, so we should start to see ourselves getting a lot more iron. And let's also take a look at what we have in our assembler as well, because I want to make sure um, that we have quite a bit. Okay, so we're getting our iron. Cobalt is fine. I think, yeah, we have a lot of cobalt. Um, how is our production of iron? You're still producing solar cells. Start producing more, sol more plates, just because they produce really fast. Uh, should we make more assemblers? That's actually a good question. And should we make more refineries? The thing about refineries is they pull their own materials from from stuff. So if we have one refinery and we give it all the materials, it's going to be the only one that works. They don't have cooperative mode. But if we, oh, I don't think they do. Let me check. Yeah, they don't. Um, but if we have two refineries in the same base, they're going to pull materials equally from uh, from the ships. So that could work. The only thing is we're kind of run out of space here, aren't we? I mean, I could stick more assemblers back here, maybe. Yeah, I can see it. How are you guys connected, by the way, to the um, to the the refinery? Are you connected underground? I don't remember how we connected this. You're not connected to the ground. So where the heck? How do how do you work? Maybe you're connected directly like that, and you're connected directly from that. Because you guys aren't connected right here either. So I don't know. I truly have no clue. Um, what's what's under? We have room. Yeah, we do have some space here. Okay, let's get two more assemblers. Why not? That's that's a good thing to do. While we're waiting for some stuff to build. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, assemblers. Um, do we have any that are accessible? I don't think we do. So let's press G. We're going to go to assembler. Uh, there it is. We're going to stick it over the ore detector, because why not? And finally, let's place it. I think right there will be fine. Does it have a connection on that side? Yeah, it does. Okay, and let's make sure that the um, that those two little things that are on top right now, we want to make sure that we have two on the bottom, which we do. So that's good. 
Uh, just because that's the slot where you hook up the, um, the bonuses. Okay, and okay, awesome. Uh, what do we need for these? Steel plates, motors, displays, computers. Steel plate, motor, display, computer. Okay. This motor, uh, steel plate, computer, uh, display. We have a bunch of those. Uh, motor, we'll get more. Steel plate. 100. Oh, we can't grab any more. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, we, can't, we just can't grab those. Gotcha. Okay. I know you guys needed some other stuff as well. Oh, construction components. Okay. Construction components, you're going to need more steel plates and computers. So, construction components, steel plates, computers. We'll start with the computers. No, the construction components. I don't know if that's enough, so we'll grab a couple more. Uh, computers, we'll grab a couple of those. Steel plates, where are those? All right, and that should be these done. Awesome. Now we now we kind of have uh, <laughs> cooperative mode enabled on these ones currently. So we have a master and a slave. That's essentially how it works. There's, there's a master assembler and a slave assembler. I wish the terminology were a little different, but uh, whatever. It is what it is. Um, master and slave assemblers. So these are going to also have to be slave assemblers because there can only be one master assembler. So we're going to have to put these in cooperative mode to uh, to do that properly. So let's go to production. We're going to go to our assembler three. We're going to set that to be a cooperative mode assembler. Awesome. We're going to go to assembler four and set that to be a cooperative mode assembler. Finally, we're going to hook these up because I don't think they can actually transfer material. Wait, hang on. Are you guys working? Never mind. They're working. Okay. So finally, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our last page over. We're going to grab some speed modules and we're going to use those. Someone has told me that the efficiency modules don't work for these. So we're not going to be using efficiency modules. Um, not efficiency, uh, yield modules don't work for these. So, let's turn these over. We'll just be using uh, speed modules, and we should, if we have any uh, yield modules on that one as well, we should um, fix it up. This is bothering me. <laughs> let's, uh, let's remove all this stuff under here because it appears that we don't actually have a module on uh, this one, the second one right here. Right here, yeah. So let's also give you a uh, speed module. So here's the speed module. Make sure it's the kind of the right way. Yep. And there we go. Let's just weld these up. And we can actually... Let's go under here. We can actually place them on the top. Oh, we did place them on the top. Okay. A little bit of lag there. Quite a bit of lag, actually. So I don't know. Are these... Yeah, these are speeds. Yeah, okay. So I think they're fine. You need... Lots of steel plates and lots of construction bonus. So let's grab those things. Steel plate. Uh, grab a bunch of those. And construction components. Oops, that's sun construction components. Construction. We'll grab a couple of those as well. And see if that's enough. I don't know if that will be enough, but we will certainly see. Uh, we need large steel tubes for those. And something else, which we'll see from here. Small tubes and large tubes. Small and large. Okay, just small and large for everything. So we'll grab... I don't know how many large steel tubes we can hold, but we'll see. Okay, so small steel tubes. We'll grab those. And then large. Uh, let's grab... Uh, we can grab 50, I think, because it's probably enough. And then we'll grab a couple more smalls. Because typically you end up using a lot of smalls for these things. I didn't actually check the numbers. Oh, yeah, you need a lot of small steel tubes. Okay, so those are working on speed. And let's see about this one... There we go. And there we go. Awesome. Let's paint everything finally. Make everything look uh, nice and colorful. So let's find the blue. There we go. And blue. I like to have everything blue in this one area. Just so I know that this is kind of like the blue area. Make this all blue. Just because it looks nice. Honestly, I should color code the modules based on wh what they do. But whatever. It'll be fine. Let's color code that as well. Because why not? Oh no, we can't color code that one. Ah, whatever. No one's going to see it. It might bother some of you, and if it does, post down in the comments and I'll, I'll like find a way to get down there and, and color it, but I think it's going to be fine. Okay, let's take a look at all of our stuff to see what is made and what still needs work. We should be making these at a super high speed. Yeah, look, look how fast we're making these. That's real fast. Because we have one, two, we have four of these working on it. So that's actually pretty awesome. Let me just verify, since we're here. Uh, that all four of them are working. Oops. 
Yep, all four of them are working on this project, so very good job, guys. Uh, let's, since we have probably like infinity steel plates right now, let's go ahead and make the solar cells uh, go in front. Okay, so you're going to make solar cells. Now, what do we need to make a solar panel? Right here, we have a slot right there, so solar. All I want is the first item. You need steel plates. Okay, so we can actually grab a bunch of those. Steel plates. Let's go over here, and we're going to place these down. Uh, we're going to start on the on the end side here. So we're going to have... I want the, uh, the, the indicator to be towards the center. So like that, yeah. Two, three. We should have eight. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Great. Eight, great. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do let's do this row as well. These are gonna be towards the center again. So flip that around. Awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I feel like a Dora the Explorer episode. Eight. Can you count to eight? One, two. <laughs> this should help our base a lot with the power, and it should help our ships that come over here to charge pretty fast as well. So, um, yeah, okay. Let's let some of that stuff go. Actually, you know what? Let's. I was gonna let some of it work out, but I think we have enough solar panels to at least, or solar cells to at least do some of that. So you right here, are you? Do you still have stuff in you? Do you still have inventory items? Let me real quick check on that. Look forward. We'll press I and just check to see if you still have stuff. You, you do still have a little bit of iron. So let's keep that in mind. Uh, we're going to park you, though, right about here. Just because we want to connect you, and we only have a couple of connectors. So I'm just going to bring this one up. I really like the light the lightweightness of this ship. And we're a little bit close here, but I think, yeah, we have space. We're good. Okay, connect that. And see, it zoomed us out again. So what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to bring everything that a solar panel requires. So let's, here, real quick, just, just so that we can see, let's place a solar panel right here so that we can come back to it. What do you guys require? Uh, steel plates by the plenty. Actually, you don't require very many steel plates. But you require construction components, but not that many. Computers, but not that many. Large steel tubes, but not that many. But a lot of solar cells. So every solar cell we have is going to have to go inside this ship. Uh, so let's let's look for our solar cells here. We're just looking for things that look like little solar panels. I don't see any. Oh, oh, 600. I like that. That's a, that's a nice amount. Uh, we're looking for the yellow ship, I believe. So stick those in there. Oh, no. Oh, that's the connector. Okay, medium cargo container. Where's our 600? We have 69. Oh, <laughs> hello. Stick those in there. Hashtag immaturity. <laughs> um, 458. Let's stick those in there as well. And hopefully these won't be too heavy for the ship. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Uh, well, actually, it might be. Well, we'll see. Uh, we're going to stick these steel plates in here as well. We know we need some construction components, so we'll find those and stick a bunch of those in there as well. Uh, not that many. We'll we'll bring them all the way down with the right click instead. So we can say maybe 500, I think. Uh, we should have a bunch of computers in here. Only 37. No, we need more. So computers are our next item. Uh, here they are. We're going to drag them down. We're only going to drag, I think, only a few, not that many. We're going to get 200. And then what else do you need? So we've, so that I know. We need large steel tubes. That should be the last thing that we need because we have a lot of steel plates and stuff. So large steel tubes. Um, unfortunately, I can't search for it because it actually uh, doesn't show the inventory of the ship in that case. So it's really difficult to drag that in. If any of you guys know a way around that, then feel free to, feel free to share. Um, go into there with, like, 50. All right, that should be enough. Hopefully the ship can still fly. Let's see. Let us find out. All right, she can still fly. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see. Oh, she's okay. There we go. She was actually trying to connect to the uh, to the base still. And remember, this is the USS Missouri. This is the only named ship that we have. If we build any more ships, we're going to name them as well. But this currently is the only ship that is named. All right, let's try her out. Let's let's see what she can do. Okay, okay, well played, well played. This is two things at once. I'm impressed. You done good. You done good, ship. Let's go over here. Get these ones. Okay, this is definitely faster than just uh, if I had to carry all these materials. Alright, that's pretty good. 
And we should have our last two right here. What do I hear? It sounds like there's an assembler working, but the assembler shouldn't be near us. So, it's a little audio glitch or something. Okay, oh, oh my god, we almost crashed. Okay. Okay, and I jumped out of the ship. Unfortunately, C and F are right next to each other. Please excuse the uh, sound of the crazy uh, assembling that's going on in the background. That's okay. Oh my god, I thought it was going to crash. That would have been bad. Yeah, I think there's an audio glitch going on with the assembler. Okay, it looks like these guys are missing solar cells, so we're going to have to go back and grab some solar cells. But aside from that, I think they're, they should be all done. Oh my god, are you welding the stuff underneath as well? That's awesome. Well played, ship. Well played. Okay, so I did say we'd do this towards the end of the video as well. Let's let's hop over to the ship and see what we can do about uh, welding on some of the, Okay, welding on some of this stuff. So, we'll start with this engine right here. See, if, I don't know if we have enough stuff to weld it. Especially since we need some thruster components, which we don't have. Oh, but everything else we have. Okay. Let's just go ahead and save real quick. Uh, just in case. Because it keeps on doing a little glitchy glitches. There we go. We're actually getting a lot of this stuff done here. And we can we should be able to weld a little bit of this stuff as well. Or not. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe we can't weld any of that stuff. Do we have bulletproof glass with us? Or is that swap base? We do have bulletproof glass, just not girders. Okay. Let's try and get these ones. Oh my god, that sounds annoying. I think, hopefully... Is it only when I'm in the ship? Nope, it's just a glitch everywhere. That's weird. Let's go over here and weld these ones. That should be it for all the welding that we're going to do on the ship for, for the current moment. Well, I mean, while we have this stuff, why don't we just go onto the front? Because I know we have a couple things as well over here. Oh, the big, the big uh, thruster. Namely. Our ship is not great at stopping here. Oh, doesn't really wanna doesn't really wanna weld anything yet, does it? Okay, that's fine. That's all the welding that we're going to do for now. Let's uh, hop back over to base. Oh my god, that sound is so annoying. Should I end the video on account of that sound? I mean, we are getting close to time anyway, so it might be a uh, might be a good idea anyway. But let's at least connect the ship and see what we have to do still for our nice little um, mini zone that we're setting up. Okay, going to third person here. We're just gonna back it up, back it up. Might restart the, the session real quick. That's annoying. Let me go see what's what if I can like fix it somehow. Yeah, no, there's no fixing that. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna restart the session and uh, we'll finish up the episode with some other stuff. Welcome back. The noise is now gone. That was so annoying. Jesus. But I'm glad that it's now gone. Let's uh, let's look at our production queue here. Go back to Assembler 1, which is the master one. Uh, looks like you guys are missing stuff, so go to that instead. The thing is, uh, these are all going to... Let me let me right-click on all these. Because what they do is they actually they actually hold some of the stuff that they were last tasked with doing. So um, in order for them to be productive again, you have to actually right-click on this stuff. And you can see it's going to start doing that again. So if you guys ever run to a problem where one of your assemblers is working, but all of them are, are no longer working for some reason, that is why. You have to you have to tell them to stop doing what they're doing specifically. Uh, how much do we have? Okay. Are you losing power or gaining power as of all of the stuff that we just added? Batteries. Oops, I, I could have just looked right here. Okay. Current input is that. Current output is that. No, you're not even gaining a little bit, are you? Stored power is still going down because we're using a lot more than we're actually gaining. That's not great, but uh, let's real quick. Are you guys all working? I mean, you guys aren't obviously, but oh, you guys are only on two bars. Where's the sun? Uh, which way is the sun going? I know they say don't look directly at the sun, but it's a game. <laughs> uh, which way is the sun going? Does it go up or down? You guys have watched these episodes. <laughs> I know I've played them, but uh, I've, I wasn't paying attention. Does the sun go this way or that way? Like, is it going down or up? That's the question. <laughs> I, I never know. Okay, so we still have a little bit that we need to do here. Um, let's get all of these done, and then we'll call it an episode, I think. And then, yeah, well, assuming we have enough stuff. 
the solar cells. Assuming we have enough solar cells. So let's let's actually go check on that. Because it could be that we need to go on another mining expedition. And that's not really something that I'm prepared to do in this episode. Because it's going to take uh, like a while. But uh, solar. Solar. We have 209 plus 209 plus 216 plus 138. I would say that we have enough. Okay. So we're going to... We're gonna grab those solar cells, wherever they wherever they be. We shall grab them and place them in these, and we shall grab these and place them in those. Uh, wait, hang on. Oh, can you not? You're at your max capacity, aren't you? Okay, well we'll grab these and stick them inside the uh, medium cargo container. I don't know where the other ones went. I, I think I lost them. But there's another 222, so stick those in there. And let's see if we can find the other 400. I think. Don't know where they went. Oh, okay. So the, the assembler automatically deposits stuff into a, a container, just in case. So that's a nice thing that it does. But uh, what were we out of? Oh, construction components we ran out. So let's grab some more. Because I know we have, like, a bunch. I think we have more than that, even. That was 200? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we do. We have a lot of construction components. I don't think we're ever going to have to worry about construction components again. Let's get 500 again. Uh, I think that's a good number there. Um, production. Let's add some thruster components to that. I want to add not on assembler 4, but on assembler 1, since this is the one that divides out stuff. What do you need? Do you need a lot of stuff? Uh, let's make 100 of the... Oh, uh, let's make 500 of those, and make those pronto as well. Just, yeah. I think we have all the materials for them, so that's fine. Okay, let's go out here. We should be able to get those final uh, things done. So let's turn on our batteries here and press P. Remember, if we forget to turn on the batteries, we will fall to the ground. And once again, that's why you have the platform at the bottom, so you don't fall onto a mountain. Okay. Our ship is a bit heavy. It's a bit heavy. Tad bit heavy. Where's our... There's our horizon line. Awesome. Okay. Weld you. Weld, weld, weld. What do we have here? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for the puns. There we go. We now have 16 new those things. Can I just like, here's a question. I wanna see if this will actually work. I, I don't know if it'll actually work, but let's let's test something. I wanna see if I can run up here welding everything real fast, like a super fast welder. So say I have like a billion steel plates on me. Could I just like, ah, uh, oh, that doesn't work, that doesn't work. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It started tilting me forward. How did I not think that that would happen? <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, that's fine. Those are now welded. Let's park our ship right about here so that we can do a little outro uh, to this video. I think we got a lot done. You know, usually we get a little bit done with the ship, but this episode we took a break from the ship. We did get a little bit done for those thrusters, but uh, mainly we were working on the base power because that was a problem. And now it shouldn't be a problem anymore. So hopefully that's going to be good. And it's going to make it so that we don't have to use as much uranium anymore. You know what? Actually... I like you flying as uh, a little bit better. So just hang out right there while we do our little outro. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my God, start an outro with a with a piece of spit in your throat, and now you can't now you can't talk. That's how that works. But uh, anyways, if you guys like this episode, hit that like button. Put your comments and your suggestions uh, down below. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, feel free to subscribe. It's free, and you'll get notifications for all of the latest space engineers videos or otherwise also we have a discord server you can actually check the description below if you want to see where that is there's a, a cheeky little link that'll send you to that you get a, you get your own nice little welcome party over there we have lots of fun in the discord server uh but anyways if you guys liked it hit the do 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 the stuff and i'll see you guys in the next episode